Before we get started doing the actual work, let's talk a little bit about safety. We're going to use cement-based products like Thinset, and maybe you would choose one of those for your grout. We're also going to be doing a lot of dry grinding, which produces a tremendous amount of dust. When you do these things, you should have some dust protection. Now, there's a full variety of different types of dust mask. This one is a very inexpensive one, a cheap filter, but it will filter out most of the dust. This one's a little bit more heavy duty than what this one is. And you can also buy the cartridge type uh, that have the charcoal filters on them, which not only will filter out the dust, but they'll also uh, filter out airborne solvents if you happen to be using a uh, premixed grout, for example. I happen to prefer this one. This particular respirator is made to uh, be used through your mouth. I like it because it doesn't interfere with my glasses. So that's a pretty nice tool. Now next, after dust protection, we should talk a little bit about our hands. Again, if we're going to use uh, uh, Thin set, when we're mixing it, you don't want to get this stuff on your hands. It's caustic. Also, if you use pre-mixed grout, it may have solvents and those types of things in it that you don't want to have absorbed through your skin. Now, there are two basic types of gloves that we can use. One of them is a straight vinyl glove. This is not very solvent resistant. If you get acetone on these things, they're going to melt. The best kind is what we call nitrile gloves, and they're usually blue in color. And these do have solvent protection on them. So again, whenever you're mixing thin set or grout or uh, using those premixed products, be sure to wear gloves. Also, we're going to be running our tools, like our uh, uh, tile uh, cutter, our tile saw. These make a lot of noise. So ear protection is also uh, recommended when you're using power tools. And last by not, but not least, the most important probably would be our eye protection. I have two different types here. This uh, could be worn if you uh, don't wear glasses. And these will fit right over top of my glasses. So, I don't often put them on unless I'm really having a, a, things fly around because the glasses, all new glasses, by the way, like my prescription lenses, are uh, hard impact lenses. So these are the basic uh, safety tools. And please, I highly recommend that you make use of them.